All right, welcome everyone. Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Summertime, summertime rendering. rendering, Episode One. What is this what is show? It? I don't know. It People has... are hyped about it. See, the thing is, even even yeah. the title, I feel like you can't get much from it. I can't get anything. It will is probably it, take place in summertime. <laughs> right, right, exactly. So <laughs> summertime. All right, okay. That narrows it down to a quarter of the year. There's going to be water. Yeah, there has to be rendering. Are they talking about the rendering they had to do for the water? Like, is it like, like is it like sundering, like rend? You know, like you cut mm. something. That's that's the no, kind of thing. No, it's actually dealing with like AI shit, right? Like the, they're on a summertime vacation, and then they it's find about out, a video editor. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a part timer that finds a gig for a YouTuber and just edits video. No, it's actually ex machina, and they find out that one of their friends has been an AI the oh, entire shit. time. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm really excited because it's been a while since we've watched an anime where we have like like nothing, like yeah. no nothing going into it. I think it might be a mystery, sort of. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But but y'all, I'm I'm really excited to get into this anime. It's one that's been apparently locked to Disney Plus for so long and that, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, very much just stuck in jail there. So yep. A ton of people just heard about it, I guess, but didn't watch it. But it got really good feedback in general. So now we're finally catching up to this classic mm -hmm. semblance of sanity style. Yep. But yeah, y'all, thank you so much for checking this out. Be sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to do a little bit more That's plugs right. as classic YouTubers here. Because mm -hmm. we're seeing that it's actually helping the algorithm stuff here. But also check out our Patreon for early access one week ahead on all reactions and full-length commentary style uh, reactions there as well. And mm -hmm. any level of support there gets you access to our Discord where you can chat with the community there and us about anime in general. But yeah, let's uh, let's just jump right into this, yeah? Well, water oh. so far. Grand all right. isn't looking okay. too far off. <gasps> on a boat! Okay, so they're going to an island. Oh. Ooh. First person POV. Oh. Oh, fun art style. Kind of reminds me of uh Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Wait, Whoa. what? Uh, Came back. Oh shit. Jacob, we have to pay attention. Oh fuck. Oh no. We have to like we have to Take note of everything we see. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Gloves, okay. Oh, so this, that was just a total stranger. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Whoa. Okay. 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 All right. Some Aaron budget yeah, Aaron yeah. Yeager looking ass here. Oh, yeah. I was thinking just whose memories are these? Yeah, yeah. Felt nice, didn't it? <laughs> oh, a little bit of heterochromia there? Oh. So did his eyes get messed with when she did the thing? Maybe like she put like a special contact lens in there or something mm. that did some weird shit. Oh. Oh. Island, yeah. low yeah. population, More potential sci-fi supernatural mystery there. Okay. Okay. And then you start working at your uncle's diving shop. I mean, it, well, <laughs> you could go that direction, or you could go for the like murder mystery mm -hmm. uh, angle. Covid Ushio. Wait, Ushio. Oh shit. Oh. Wait. Oh. Hang on. Someone's already died, but that might have been her in the dream. Wait. Oh! Find me. Wait. Yeah, let's get. Oh. What? Okay. Oh, this is just how she is, probably. 
<laughs> that was intentional. Ah, yeah. I mean, hey, oh, that would be a that would be a pretty great way to enter the water. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna cool off in the water. My sister was always competition for your affection, so I got rid of her. I mean, <laughs> that, that 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 could be it. <laughs> Okay, so here's... Okay. Here's her again. Yeah, we're, we're, we're dropping little mm. little pieces here. Oh. Really? Ah, his voice. He's lost the... He's lost uh, the voice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the real question will be if anyone comments on his eyes. Hmm. That's interesting. Ooh. Oh, yeah. OP. Let's okay, go. yep. We're in a mystery. Right. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. We're in a maze. Oh. oh. Whoa. Oh. Uh... Per persona? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'll explain it in the discussion. Hmm. <laughs> Oh. That's the last thing you ever said to her. Shit. Okay. Oh. And what did this doctor find? Yeah, you have to, just in case. Whoa. Okay. I didn't see any big cameras. Me neither. Maybe it's his eye. Oh. But it was behind him, it looked like. I mean, but that might be just his illusion of it, you know? Just blinded him from... Oh. I'm not even kidding. What if he is actually a bully? And... That guy or the, the, the brown-haired kid? That's why he's apologizing. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna drop that whole thing. I, I need to I need to pay attention here. Okay. Yeah. It's terrible, but my brain automatically thinks there's something more to it than just that. <laughs> Very chipper. I'm surprised the dad also didn't seem to like choke up or anything at mention of his dead daughter. I think it's the thing of where like they've They've, it's probably been a while since she died. Right. And the but, funeral is just now happening, you know? Like, but it, it takes still a while dredge to dredge up the emotions from no, no, totally, that totally. That gave me get out vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Like there, like there was another person in there. Mm hmm. Oh. Okay, okay. So talk talk to me. What? But... Call it... Mm. Oh, shit. Now, shit. that could... That's... It's yeah. possible that that yeah. could be the girl that's... Pressure. yeah. That mm. was just, like, panicking because she was drowning. Yes. Yes, but, that's absolutely true. But then... Yeah. Oh. Alright. Right. Could have been riptide, you know, mm. just... Oh, shit. So maybe someone else that was in the water did it? Oh. 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 
And now she's expressing sadness or emotion or something. Whoa. Yeah. Hmm. Whoa. Hmm. Yeah. Now, this feels too obvious, right? This feels like it's the thing that the show is trying to get you to think so that you don't see the actual thing that it's building up. Because you're the one who did it. That was very quick. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh. He gave it to her. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do like that it's the necklace, though. And if she was strangled, then it's could have been the focus point, especially if it was Mio, you know? Mm hmm. <laughs> Isn't it morning? You're already drunk? Huh. Although in a small town like this, word would spread so fast. You see Mio, like, holding her breasts, like, like... この人は突村鉄。小船家の親戚であり、島にたった一つの交番に勤める。おお、アイズ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> In hmm. interaction there, you know? いつかぜん消えてしもて。小早。いや。小早川しおりちゃんや。武将が命に変えて救ったんだ。おう。シット。どうけしゃ金抱えとったみたいやし。4人家かもわからんな。おい、見よ。Maybe <laughs> Oh. Wait, 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 mm. Is he in a relationship with Mio? Oh god, I hope not. And he doesn't like that she likes him ultimately? Wait. Well, okay. His comment of still cute as ever, regardless of if there's a relationship. Yeah. There could, there yeah. could be jealousy. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, well, crap. Oh, shit. We might have some doppelgangers going on here. Mm-hmm. So, hmm. Or maybe... Oh, we are going full persona. <laughs> yes, the classic mystery man showing up. Uh-huh. Okay. I see the reflections in the, uh, mm -hmm. window there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah.。Fuck. Hmm. <laughs> that gives me ideas. He got on the phone pretty quickly immediately after that. Oh. And you killed it? あれ見て、見よう。あ、ほか。言うて、平常なんて悪い冗談あるぞ。ほんまやもう。でも、目の前ですぐ消えて。shit. All right. If there was ever a time to have a drunk sensei. Mio. She seeing her her shadow. どうした? Oh. Damn. 
Yeah, it was the girl that almost drowned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh, that wasn't just... Okay. Yeah, it was kind of quiet. So oh shit, that's the lady. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, oh fuck. Yeah, this is only for you. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck! What? Oh my god! What? So, time, time loop. loop. Time loop. Okay. Yep! Yep! We Steins Gate, baby! Alright. Let's go! And that is, that is a rather fantastic... <laughs> Specific moment to like keep back right. to. I'm in. All right. I'm in. Let's fucking go. Rendering because it's 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 re re iteration. Re you know? yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, because I was oh gonna say. Oh my god. All right, but we've got we've got doppelgangers. We've got we've got all the shit going here. Now, okay, oh my so god. so did you ever watch the the movie Us? Uh, I did. I didn't really like it that much. I didn't either. But yeah. You know, when you deal with doppelgangers, God. right? One of the questions is, is yeah, how do you know which one's the doppelganger, uh -huh. right? Right. So there's a lot of little cues, right? So one of them they've set up already is the voice, uh, the, the accent okay. aspect there. Um, the other one is uh, his eyes are unique, specifically. Uh, sure. The the copy here was also wearing. Uh, school uniform. Uh, true, true. If it's yes. summer, why would you wear a school uniform? Right. Um, Meaning that the event that either created the doppelganger or the circumstances surrounding its motivation are school related. Right. But yeah. what I, one of the things I also love about this is that we get the really obvious thing of like, wait, did she kill Ushio? And it's like, yeah, probably. Probably. But the thing is, it was the doppelganger. Yeah. And all the stuff that we figured out about that is now almost a moot point because we're going to be going into a different iteration where Ushio, well, no, Ushio is dead. Right. Ushio is dead. Yeah. But her doppelganger might be out there. But if the doppelganger was the, one, was the thing that died, then maybe she isn't mm. actually dead. Yeah. Okay. Right. That, yeah, that, yeah. We, we that, are, that was we one are, hell of a first episode. We are, yeah, we are in a, a like, very storied and very well mm -hmm. tread upon uh, yep. area of mystery stories. I, um, yes, I love this type of, of, of mystery. Yes. I, I absolutely love it. I think I also might have a bit of a better understanding in addition to the whole Disney mm -hmm. Plus thing of why this show didn't get as popular as it could have been. Mm -hmm. Because how do you tell someone what this show's about without mm. spoiling it, right? Like, like it feels very similar to like Erased in that in that element well, where it's like the okay, just watch the first episode. Yeah, that's what you just say. You just right. say, just watch the first episode. Just watch I the swear first episode, and 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 there you go. You yeah, know, right? Yeah. Like, okay, yeah. yeah, it's got a it's got a very gripping first episode hook. Yep. Um, it gives you enough of the mystery to make you feel like you can solve it, and then at the very last, like. 30 seconds, it completely upends that with right. the whole, hey, we're in a time loop. Mm -hmm. We Steinsgate, we uh, right. every There's... other, you know, oh, supernatural right. mystery that does this oh kind God. of thing here. <laughs> and now uh... all those little weird things that you were seeing now have an entirely different connotation. Like the fact that okay. there was the floating visage of him above his head there with the bird's eye view. Right, right. The idea that he has had that bird's eye view thing for a while. Mm -hmm. The so Farsini has with Ushio all right. in the dream. You yes. Know? I think I just cracked an element of this show. Yeah. So um, I was about to say, I was like, yeah, it's a mystery show that has not one, but two supernatural elements. And then I was like, wait, does it? Oh. Because if you think about it, oh. there's shadows. Yeah. Yeah, doppelgangers. That could be a total thing. But then there's also the time loop. So are they shadow doppelgangers or are they people from another timeline? Yeah, I think that's right? it. Like, there you go. I think right? that's it. And so, and so that's, you know. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, that's yeah. that's what we're dealing with. What we're dealing with right now is there are temporal, mm -hmm. probably, pockets. Fuckery happening. Well, well hold yeah. on, hold on. Okay. Temporal pockets where once someone sees the doppelganger, things need to be corrected. 
of some in some way, right. shape, or manner, uh, and then death happens. Yeah, that's, whether... that's the lore of mm-hmm. this whole setting here, what we had from Nezu. But the idea that you're saying that yes, it could all be one um, element to the world building, I feel like is a very good straightforward theory to branch off from because it simplifies a lot of the things that could end right. up uh, adding to more complications than is necessary. And it's I feel spe- like it's the kind of thing that gets explained within about three to five episodes as well. Well, but also with a with a mystery show, mm-hmm. you re- like in well, okay, in just about any show where it's the reality with a fun fantastical twist Mm -hmm. you generally don't want there to be multiple twists because then you know you're splitting the attention and everything of getting to know exactly what the implications of this of the one twist are right yeah but even more so for mystery because it has to all fit together nicely at the end and so if there's multiple MacGuffin crazy things that you can't fully understand that would probably make it a lot less satisfying to solve so Mm -hmm. if it's something like this okay yeah Time shenanigans are happening. Mm-hmm. That's why there's the shadows. Of course, to everybody else, it just seems like an urban legend or whatever, mm-hmm. or like the, oh yeah, that's a weird thing that has happened, but you know, mm-hmm. whatever. But then that also maybe brings it up, you know, ways little elements that were dropped of like, oh yeah, your parent, my parents died 10 years ago and things like that. And like, just mm-hmm. just little things where that, that could be nothing, or it could be, Everything. Everything. Yeah, one of my favorite elements of mysteries like this is being able to determine what's a red herring versus what's Mm. critical information. Sure. Because when you always start a mystery, you lack critical information. Mm -hmm. So the every little bit of information you get once the story has told you this is a mystery, pay attention, and they very clearly establish that in the first scene, which I gotta give props because a lot of stories will go for the shock value of what we got at the end of this episode without Mm. letting us know beforehand that there's a mystery element, not just because of the clear murder happening here, Uh but also the, oh, the slightly hard to explain, you know, things that feel completely nonsensical out of context or Mm -hmm. just easily explained by the characters of, oh, that was a weird dream. And then we, as the audience, go, cool. Okay, there's some kind of Mm -hmm. sci-fi supernatural mystery happening here. Wait. Yeah, no, so maybe it was a... Okay, so maybe it actually was a um, uh, a contact lens thing where it's the... It lets him see... Iterations as they've happened. Right, right, exactly. It either... Because because one of the things that that also uh, that is very important information that we don't have actually set up here. Mm-hmm. If you're doing time loop stuff, mm-hmm. you fundamentally, with one key exception that I can think of <laughs> in anime, and even then that technically still did it, you have to have somebody who is aware of the time loop. Yeah. Otherwise, you have to do the thing where, for yeah. some reason, the characters realize they're in a time loop. Which doesn't make sense, yep. right? Like, like it's very hard to actually sell that. Yeah. So, so, so right now, obviously, biggest sus character is still Mio, mm-hmm. even though we have time loop stuff and we saw her get killed by her doppelganger. Right. That so could just the... be her silencing herself or giving herself a really good alibi. Mm-hmm. Well, you well, know, there's there's yeah, all kinds there, of ways there, you can look at this. There could be this. all sorts of elements to this, but if it is time shenanigans, mm-hmm. the thing that then gets curious for me mm-hmm. is that are these still shadows where it's sort of some entity that is created as a result of the time muckery that isn't fundamentally that person? Sure. Or is it something where it's someone from an alternate timeline that maybe has some perspective where it's the, we must obliterate the copy of ourselves in this timeline in order for us to continue to exist or because our old timeline was destroyed so now we need to take over this one or the, you know something yeah, along the, those lines. The, the thing that you can always use as a grounding force for all of this story-wise, before we get too into the weeds, mm-hmm. let's actually yeah, recap yeah. the episode and stuff, right. is that uh, Shinpei can reset. That's that's yes. all that's all we need to really go on for now is that mm. even if even if there's nobody else I mean obviously there's probably going to be at least one other person that's probably going to be the murderer if there's a who done it kind of situation here versus oh, sure. a supernatural thing here they obviously are aware of the time loops probably mm-hmm. or if they aren't now they will be by the end of the story or well before the end of the story right but we have an island with a very classic mix of like a couple different staples of this genre we have the kind of Higarashi style time looping mm-hmm. murder mystery supernatural doppelganger. There's a bunch of little things that are from that kind mm-hmm. of side of things. You have the time the Steinsgate element as well, where it's the 
oh, no, we have a, a main character that's going to... Uh, right. Like... Try and fix this thing, but uh -huh. in the Steinsgate element, it wasn't... Yes, there were individuals that they were dealing with, yeah. but it was more of a cosmic element where it's yeah. you're fighting against existence itself because right. reality has dictated that this is how things are supposed to go. And so to try and change the universe, mm -hmm. that's what that that's your actual antagonist here, right? right. Who knows what, what kind of avenue it will be taken in this show? Right. The reason why I think that that is still a potential thing at play is because of the first scene giving us kind of a something from beyond the main character's actions mm -hmm. intervened and basically gave the well, impetus for the story to happen. And the, you know? the tough bit is could that of right because well that what that seems like is it's the there was something that happened in a previous iteration yeah. right but the thing that's weird about that is that the iteration started with ushio being dead so what i'm guessing mm -hmm. the, the, like if i were to make a a prediction that i think is not too crazy out there mm -hmm. but is still out there right is that ushio is not actually dead that is the doppelganger and Ushio killed her doppelganger and is in hiding because she doesn't want to get killed. Sure. And so that's how, from a meta standpoint, you won't have this important character that's then never in the show. Mm -hmm. But also, that's how she was able to communicate with him in one of the previous timelines because at some point they found each other, right? Sure. You could also go for the there is no linearity with regards to that scene, meaning that because you loop always back to this bit here, there's... Um, you know, the loops have been going on for a while, but now instead of maybe her having the looping thing, she's passing it on to him. Oh, sure. Like she was in a time loop and she's like, wait, this isn't quite working. I need to pass the baton. And so the thing that she gives him is the, now, yeah. now you're going to be the one that has it. Right. I right. like the idea of that. Yeah. And um, that still works with your, your theory potentially mm -hmm. as well, that she could be, you know, faking her death uh -huh. in this way. But yeah, we're, we're, we're in that fun realm where because we have just enough info to make theories, but not enough to realize what can't happen in this story, there's a bunch of theories that are right. on the table right we, now. We don't but we have, but we have a lot of variables that we can mm -hmm. kind of make steps uh, in, this, right. in and, discerning. And I would say that it, it, they're not even really theories yet, right? No. Because because it, for, a, for an actual theory, they're you need hypothesis. to have some kind of evidence, right? Yeah. yeah, they're hypothesis, where it's like, this, that could be fun. It's a vibe from the things that we have, but there is, who, who knows what it could be? The, the show and every everything that the show has from here on out is, it's its own oyster, it can do mm -hmm. whatever it wants, and it has fully sold us on the premise yeah. and the stakes, so... Yeah. Okay. It's really exciting. The other thing that we can kind of uh, maybe, div you know, create some actual theories from mm -hmm. is that we do know some characters' motivations here, specifically Mio's. Mio's motivation okay. is that she wants to be with Shinpei. Right. Shinpei is not just a brother to her. He is someone that she likes. Yep. That is, that is, that mm -hmm. is, that is almost incontrovertible. That like, is, that is, in fact, the biggest a mm -hmm. uh, bit of characterization that, that we, we got have. in this episode, in this Other, opening episode. Like, it, like, even more so than Shinpei himself as a character. Mm -hmm. The main thing that we got from him here is that he very clearly has a lot of emotional distress with regards to the fact that this has happened and stuff. And yet at the same time... And then because of the way in which everybody else is reacting, as he said during the funeral... That he, calmed him down. It can, it can calm him down which, a bit, yeah. Which, that... Like, I don't know, maybe maybe it's just one of those things where it's like the, okay, for the main protagonist, you don't want to have them be, like, emotionally breaking down and destroyed in the very beginning of the show because that could make it harder to focus on some of the things that need to happen again i feel but, like i feel like i feel like harping on that is a is a is a is, a, is, a, is okay but again this is the funeral that he knew was go happening he, sure she died a while ago that's true he's been on the trip going to the funeral for at least a decent amount of time well and so he probably addressed a lot of those emotions in the simplest uh yes know, straightforward angle a while and ago. and on top of that there were things that this episode did that were not that um a part of me wanted to look at it from like a that's a that that feels like a weird characterization choice sure. that is supposed to be looked into but there's another part of me that's like oh wait no that's the we're moving this along 
when Mio has the breakdown and then recovers from it quickly, that doesn't have to be because that's the doppelganger. We know that's not the doppelganger, mm -hmm. right? But it's that this happens, th you know, and now we're moving to the next scene, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah. you know, and that, that could be the equivalent of what that is, right? It's the, no, yes, he is. He is absolutely torn up over the fact that this happened, but we're addressing it. Now we're moving on. Right. Um, but yeah, we have a nice, nice, small little cast of characters. Mm -hmm. And also we have our bookended, uh, mystery government agent type girl. Right. With the, with, with the, the gloves, super like, big suitcase. Yeah. The super big suitcase and gloves. Like she's some kind of like mob cleaner. Like she's like, gonna I just a government agent kind of thing or, that like yeah. that, that's kind of the equivalent. Of yeah. That, yeah. Right? Yeah. But the idea that if there's like a time heist kind of you know, like secret agent kind of person there. She's she's clearly in the know. She knows yeah. what's going on. Mm -hmm. Now that you've looped once, you can immediately address her and be like, hey, what do you know? Right, and but, a, but assuming that he actually knows that he's in a loop, because it could be that he didn't know about the time loop because he had just been given the thing by Ushio and that's why, like he hasn't, this, this is actually the first iteration for him, but if this isn't the first iteration for him with the time loop device or ho however it works, mm -hmm. there is a possibility that he won't be fully conscious of the fact that he is in a time loop. Yes, that's 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 possible. That's 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 possible. True. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, we are we are we are in a a a fun fun genre for for us specifically mm -hmm. jacob and i have very fond memories of a lot of different stories using a lot of these mediums for then discerning oh, what the fuck is going on right but like, also then re-watching them with uh a lot of joy because you then have that extra perspective going through a second time so mm -hmm. cool. it's it's very clear that like from just all the little elements that we can see set up in this mm -hmm. first episode that this was clearly something with a lot of passion and thought put into it mm -hmm. so that combined with time loop very excited yeah like very excited very excited but yeah y'all thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now though go check out the link in the description below for our patreon you get an early access there you can watch full length timer reactions there and all this comes with discord access so you can chat with us in the community there about this show about anime in general and also be sure to check out my persona 5 royal let's play on twitch and yeah if any of that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity i'm caleb i'm jacob and we'll see you all next, next time, time.